What if I told you that you can generate professional videos with AI locally on your computer in less than 10 minutes without dealing with complicated Confa UI configurations? If you're passionate about AI-generated content and want to create impressive videos without paying for cloud credits or dealing with complex configurations, you're in the right place. In today's tutorial, we're diving into One 2.2, which is one of the most powerful AI video generation models currently available. But here's the detail. Most tutorials show you how to install it through Comfy UI, which can be intimidating if you're not familiar with nodes and workflows. Today, I'm going to show you a much simpler method using Pinocchio, a platform that handles all the heavy lifting for you. By the end of this video, you'll have One 2.2 running on your machine, and you'll understand which settings give you the best quality speed ratio. But if you're interested in installing One 2.2 and running it with a not so powerful computer, I have this other video where you can see step by step how to do it. Click here. First, let me introduce you to Pinocchio if you haven't used it before. Pinocchio is a platform designed to make AI applications accessible to everyone. Think of it as a one-click installer for AI tools. It automatically handles all dependencies, downloads the necessary models for you, provides simple interfaces for complex AI tools. Everything runs locally on your machine. Now let's get into the installation process. Inside Pinocchio, we're going to search for 1.2.1. You'll be wondering why we're searching for 2.1 when we want 2.2. The application is labeled as 2.1 in Pinocchio, but it actually gives us access to the One 2.2 models, which you'll see in a moment. As we see here, I already have it installed. If you don't have it yet, simply click on the Install button and Pinocchio will handle everything automatically. Let me open the interface for you. And here we are. This is the One interface, and as you can see, it's noticeably simple compared to Comfy UI. Everything is clearly laid out with labeled options and direct controls. Let's explore the main sections here. At the top, you have your model selection. Here you can enable LoRas for faster generation. We'll explore each of these in detail as we do our test generations. This is where you load your initial and final frames. This section is for your prompt or description. Down here are your generation settings like steps and resolution. Before we start generating, let me explain something that will save you a lot of time. The LoRa, specifically the Lightning LoRa's for One 2.2. LoRa stands for Low Rank Adaptation, and in simple terms, it's a way to modify how the AI model works to achieve specific results. In our case, we're using Lightning LoRa's, which are designed to dramatically accelerate video generation. Think of it this way. The standard WAND 2.2 model might use 30 steps to generate a video. With Lightning LoRa, we can get similar quality with just four to eight steps. That means faster generation times without sacrificing much quality. Let's download these LoRa's from this Hugging Face page. I'll leave the link to this site in the description. Here you'll find all the instructions. We need to download two specific models, the high noise and low noise LoRa's. These files have the safe tensors format, which is a safe and efficient way to store model weights. Let's go ahead and download both. They're relatively small, so it shouldn't take long. Once downloaded, here's where we place them. Inside Pinocchio, you can access the folder directly by clicking View Files. We're going to put them inside this one git folder and then into the app folder. And finally, into the LoRa's i2v folder, which stands for Image to Video. Simply drag and drop your downloaded LoRa files here. Now that we have the LoRa's installed, we need to update the application so it recognizes these new files. Let's click on the Update button and Pinocchio will download any new dependencies and update the settings. This may take a few minutes, so be patient. Once the update is complete, restart the application by clicking Start again. When it opens, you'll see it installs the new dependencies automatically. This is the beauty of using Pinocchio. All these technical processes happen in the background while you simply click a few buttons. Now we're ready to generate our first video. For this demonstration, I'm going to recreate an example from my previous video about how to make TV commercials with AI. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it at the end, and I highly recommend it because we dive deep into the creative process. Here we return to One 2.1, which also has the name One GP, 
which is the real name of the application as we can see here at the top. Here we have all the models we can use. Here the 1.2.1 model has infinite talk, which is for generating avatars and much more. They also have this LTX video with the normal version and a distilled version, that means it's a reduced or compressed version. We can also generate videos with the Huan Yuan model, which can also make image to video videos, which is what we're going to do today. And if we continue down here, they also have this flux context model for generating images. And we have this when model, which I also showed in another video where I compare it with Nano Banana. For this video, we're going to do it with the 1.2.2 model, as we said at the beginning of the video. Here we select the base image to video 14B model. For this test, I have two frames, an initial frame showing a waitress from behind and a final frame showing the waitress placing a plate on the table. This is a perfect test because it involves camera movement, human movement and interaction with objects, all challenging elements for AI video generation. Let's load our initial frame here in the initial frame section. We simply click, select your image and it loads instantly. Now let's add our final frame in the end frame section. Notice how in this frame you can already clearly see the restaurant logo we generated this image using Nano Banana, which I cover in another video. Before generating, we need to add a prompt. The interface requires some text, so let's keep it simple and just write waitress. The model is mainly guided by the frames we provide, so the prompt doesn't need to be elaborate. For our first generation, we're going to use the default settings without LoRa's. This will give us a baseline to compare. The model is set to 30 steps, which is the full quality setting. Let's click generate and see what happens. If this is your first time running 1.2.2, the model will download automatically. This is a one-time process, so subsequent generations will start immediately. Now we wait. I'm going to speed up this part for the video, but I'll show you the actual generation time. And here we are. The generation took 26 minutes and 19 seconds on my system. We got 81 frames, which equals 5.1 seconds of video. Let's see the result. Look at that. The movement is incredibly fluid and natural. The waitress turns smoothly. The camera movement is stable and the plate placement looks realistic. This is the quality you get with the full 30 step generation. The detail preservation is excellent. You can see the fabric movement, the lighting stays consistent. However, 26 minutes is quite a long wait time. Let's see if we can speed this up without losing quality. Now let's activate one of the lightning LoRa's we installed earlier. In the LoRa section at the top, you can see that the models we downloaded are already available. I'm selecting the lightning V2025-09-28 model. This date tells us is the September 28th version which is the latest one we downloaded. This particular LoRa is optimized for four steps. Here we go to the bottom and we're going to minimize the number of steps. In the previous generation, we used 30. So with this lightning LoRa, we can reduce it from four to eight steps. Let's leave it at nine steps to compare the result. By reducing from 30 steps to nine steps, we should see a significant improvement in speed. Let's generate and see, and the result is ready. This took exactly 10 minutes. That's less than half the time of our first generation. Let's compare the quality. This is remarkable. Looking at both videos side by side, the quality is almost identical. The movement is just as smooth, the details are preserved, and honestly, I can't notice a significant difference. This is the power of Lightning LoRa's. We cut the generation time by more than half while maintaining quality. For most projects, this nine step setting with the Lightning LoRa is going to be your sweet spot. You might be thinking, if nine steps are so good, what about four steps? The LoRa is designed for four steps, so let's push it to the limit and see what happens. Same LoRa, same frames, but now only four steps. Let's generate. This completed in approximately eight minutes. Now let's see the quality compromise. Here we can definitely see the difference. Notice these ghostly trails and motion blur effects? It looks like it was filmed with a very low shutter speed. The video has this choppy frame-by-frame -frame quality, which isn't ideal. 
This is what happens when we push optimization too far. Four steps simply aren't enough for this model to generate smooth movement. The lesson here? Don't always go for the fastest setting. Sometimes spending a few extra minutes gives you dramatically better results. One 2.2 actually includes multiple model variants in this interface. Let's try the palingenesis version, which is another image to video model within the one 2.2 family. I'm going to run this without any LoRa using the default settings to see how it compares with the one 2.2 14B model we started with. This took significantly longer, 40 minutes to complete. That's almost double the time of our first generation. Looking at the quality, it's very similar to the standard model. The movement is fluid, the details are good, but honestly, I don't see a quality improvement that justifies the 14 extra minutes of generation time. For most use cases, I would recommend sticking with the standard 1.2.2 14B model with the Lightning LoRa's. It gives you the best balance of speed and quality. Before finishing, I need to talk about hardware, because that's going to significantly affect your generation times. For all these tests, I'm using an NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card with 10GB and 16GB of VRAM. This is a mid-high range GPU from several generations ago, and it handles 1.2.2 very well. If you have a less powerful GPU, your generation times will be longer. And there you have it. Now you know how to install and optimize 1.2.2 without ever touching Comfy UI. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, Activate the bell so you get notifications of the new videos I'll be making. And if you made it this far, I invite you to watch this other video where we see how to make TV ads with AI from concept to final video. Click here. See you next time. Bye-bye.